articles aren't indexed. So indexed in is where you can find the article on Google. And there was a time where the state or maybe these insurgent groups that are working on the behalf of the state were de-indexing my articles. And when I spoke out about it, they would re-index the articles. So it would actually uh, make it appear as if I didn't know what I was talking about or it was so doubt in the minds of others that my article wasn't de-indexed. But because now they're, they're researching the particular article and it is indexed. So you can kind of see where there, there is a psychological element to this. But also now there are several articles that I am actually just using chat GPT to put out into the universe because I am a writer. I just like to write in sometimes just, um, putting out content on a specific issue is something that I really like to do. But what I noticed is that of course, if I'm talking negatively and not, I don't want to use the word negatively. If I'm talking critically on practices that are happening within the United States, such as police brutality, such as racism, excuse me, such as, um, you know, the way in which the state mistreats black people, these are more likely to be indexed because what the state is trying to do is paint me as a one issue person to say that, that I have something against white people. Let me be perfectly clear. I do not have anything against white people. I'm going to be perfectly, I've already clarified that in a video, but I'm clarifying that again. I don't hate white people, but I'm not going to ignore when there are systemic and institutional issues that are affecting black Americans in the United States. And when I see that happening, and I, I, there is a pattern and there is a practice, then that is something that I'm going to speak out on. And I did something different because something different happened. And what I did was I wrote a statement about Chicago, the Chicago Board of Education, um, deciding to remove law enforcement officers from their schools. Now, this demonstrates that I am not a one issue person and that I'm not just, you know, looking to critica crit criticize the United States. When I read the article and I saw that the Chicago Board of Education removed law enforcement officers from their schools, I actually wrote a positive statement about that. I said, kudos to um, the Chicago Board of Education for doing this because they're putting the rights of their student body first they are possibly going to allocate those resources uh, for more pro uh, programs that will ensure the safety of their student body. And this was such a wonderful decision that the Board of Education, uh, not only the Board of Education, but the teachers, the students, the community, they all agreed to do this, the, the parents, and so who couldn't commend, who couldn't commend that? That is commendable. But yet I noticed that that article was not indexed. Now I wrote that, that statement a few days ago and it normally takes a couple of days for an article to be indexed. And I saw the, the speed in which certain articles were being indexed if I'm talking very critically about the United States in a way that warrants criticism. But when I'm speaking very positively about a state practice, well, the state doesn't want to index that kind of communication because 
it's a form of we want to try and discredit this person to say that she's only one issue she's only one way she's only thinking one way she doesn't think any other way she can't possibly think any other way she's not a human rights defender she's really someone who's filled with hate and if hey everybody this is kiana so i'm um, adding to this video remember when i was telling you that my article was de-indexed the article that i was giving kudos to the Chicago Board of Education, uh, removal of law enforcement in schools to protect children. So that article wasn't indexed, but I realized that after I was talking about this issue, that authority figures, uh, cyber insurgents, index that article, like moments after I uh, started to speak about this issue. But do you see, what's happening and I'm going to do an article about this in uh, post screenshots but do you see what's happening what the authority figures are trying to do is to try and discredit me so if I say okay well an article is not indexed when it hasn't been indexed what they'll do is they'll index the article so that they can try and sow doubt in the minds of other people so people can say no so that they could tell these other people maybe authority figures uh, that I'm trying to go to for help. No, look, this article is indexed. What is she talking about? When really they didn't index it, when it wasn't indexed in the beginning, but they only indexed it after I began to complain about it so that they can try and forward this notion that there is, uh, that uh, like I'm misinterpreting or, uh, not seeing things the way that they really are. You, you see this psychological violence that the state is g going into. This is what is happening with uh, transnational repression and the silencing of dissent. It's one way to try and get people to stop from speaking out is to uh, sow doubt in their mind. This is a form of repression under transnational repression. And we're gonna get into this in the next video.